Hello folks and welcome to your Whiteout Weather Briefing on this Tuesday, the 7th of December. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Hewer. Well, we still have high winds persisting into Wednesday night for wind prone areas across much of central, south central and southeastern Wyoming. Then we turn towards snow and much colder temperatures Thursday into Friday and we're going to be looking at winter weather impacts affecting many sections of I-80 and I-25 and secondary roads in central, south central and eastern Wyoming. High winds return Friday night into Saturday and I-80 and I-25. Going to see a one-two punch of significant weather events. Let's start off with today in our 500 millibar chart showing us the wind direction and speeds in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, about 18,000 feet. Little dip in the jet stream out over the Pacific, then a little ridge of high pressure. Cool northwest flow today across Wyoming and out here to the east is the big trough of low pressure that brought us the Arctic air of Sunday into Monday and a little bit of snow with low pressure here across the Great Lakes, high pressure building across the Great Basin. This is gonna keep a rather tight pressure gradient across Wyoming, and this is gonna help create some strong and gusty winds through tonight, through Wednesday, and Wednesday night across wind prone areas of Wyoming. And unfortunately, 60 plus mile per hour gusts can be increasing and becoming much more common across I-80, Cheyenne to Rollins and I-25, Cheyenne north towards Wheatland and even Douglas and Casper. As we get into Friday, we see a big trough of low pressure digging across the Great Basin and Plains and that is going to be opening up the door to the frigid north and we're going to be looking at temperatures plummeting Thursday night into Friday across Wyoming and Wyoming's highs on Friday only going to be in the teens and 20s. And at the same time as we have cold air pouring in from the north, we're going to be looking at some moisture and energy flowing up from the southwest. We're going to see an overrunning snow event across sections of central, southern, and southeastern Wyoming on Thursday night into Friday. With the jet stream coming moisture and energy Thursday night into Friday, and the jet stream can help enhance snowfall. And that's what we're going to be seeing and talking about more here a little bit later in this video is an enhanced area, some snowfall across much of I-80, sections of I-25 and secondary roads around central and southern Wyoming Thursday night into Friday, bringing winter weather impacts and a few to several inches of snow. And then unfortunately, as this trough moves off to the east on Saturday, high pressure builds in back to the west. We will be looking at a redeveloping high wind event on Saturday across much of Wyoming. And that's gonna create that one-two punch I mentioned along sections of I-80 and I-25, where we go from winter weather impacts of snow, slick roads, black ice, some poor visibility, to very strong and gusty winds, and some widespread blowing and drifting snow Friday night into Saturday. So what exactly can we expect for tonight? Well, here's the area of high winds that'll be continuing into tonight and Wednesday. Widespread 25 to 35 mile per hour winds out of the southwest with overnight gusts of 55 to 65 miles an hour. Wind prone areas, especially I-80, Cheyenne on the Laramie and Rollins, then also sections of I-25 around Bordeaux and Bear Creek, seeing those 60 plus mile per hour wind gusts tonight. Likewise, the western side of the Bighorn Basin. Otherwise, a few mountain snow showers and some light to breezy winds for much of the state and some light snow and snow shower activity out in the far west and northwest. Not much, but just enough to create some slick roads and some black ice, especially across the mountain passes where a trace to two inches of snow will be possible tonight into early Wednesday. On Wednesday, we expand the area of some strong and gusty winds. Still southwest winds, 20 to 35 miles an hour, gusts of 45 to 55 for this entire area, with wind prone areas seeing those 55 to 70 mile per hour gusts, and it will be a southwest wind. So it will be a crosswind across much of I-80 and I-25, creating an extreme blowover risk for light, high-profile vehicles. Likewise, strong and gusty winds still the western side of the Bighorn Basin. And into Wednesday night, it will be I-80. They'll mainly be looking at still some gusts of 60 to 65 miles an hour into the overnight hours up through about midnight 
Over the course of late Wednesday into Thursday, some developing light snow and snow shower activity for the light blue shaded areas, mainly overnight picking up possibly a trace to an inch. A few slick and icy spots starting to develop across the blue shaded areas, the light blue shaded areas, Wednesday night and Thursday morning. One to three inches possible on Battle Mountain Pass Wednesday night. And out here in the far west and northwest, a little bit of some heavier snow late in the day and overnight. Mountain Pass is looking at two to four inches with a trace to one inch across lower elevations, making for some slick and icy roads. So what exactly does this all equate to as far as road impacts? Well, non-shaded areas, no weather related road impacts for your Wednesday. However, red shaded areas, that light high profile vehicle alert with 60 plus mile per hour crosswinds creating extreme blowover risk. Also here for the west side of the Bighorn Basin, especially in the Clark area. Not much going on otherwise with just a little bit of some Slick areas, mainly higher elevations overnight, Wednesday into early Thursday with favorable travel conditions elsewhere. And was talking about the snowfall as we get into Thursday night into Friday. Here is a snowfall graphic for a 48 hour period from early Thursday to early Saturday. And you can see the blue shaded area here is gonna be looking at some moderate to heavy snow. This is Cheyenne right here possibly a few to several inches. These snowfall amounts aren't road accumulation amounts. Road accumulation is likely to be a little bit less, but Cheyenne could be looking at three to six inches, possibly late Thursday into Friday. Widespread three to six inches around the darker shaded blue areas with possibly heavier amounts on the summit and also I-80 Arlington to Elk Mountain. Three sisters out here in western sections of the state and the higher elevations of I-80 between the Green River and Evanston. Some accumulations of snow, not a lot of wind with this snow event as we get into Thursday night and a Friday. We will be looking at widespread road impacts due to black ice, slick roads, snow accumulations, and also some reduced to poor visibility. And we very well may see this band of heavier snow shift perhaps a little more to the north or a little more to the south over the next 24 to 36 hours. So we'll keep you up to date as how things progress. Unfortunately though, it'll also be the same area here that'll be looking at those high winds as we get into Friday night into Saturday. We could be looking at widespread blowing and drifting snow in the shaded area continue to create high impacts and some very, very difficult travel conditions on I-80 and I-25. So stay tuned to our videos tomorrow and Thursday for the latest details and forecasts. And thanks for watching today.